Hey, how's it going? Welcome back, guys. Thank you for checking this video out. I want to talk about how to increase your egg production on your chickens, on your hands. Uh, this line here is a line of whites. Uh, these are Slimbanoids silver bullets or Slimbanoids whites. Uh, anyways, so these hands are really good at, at uh, they're really good egg producers. They'll get broody and then they'll, ha they'll hash their chicks about two weeks, three weeks, they let them go and then they start their cycle again. Uh, so how do we increase that? I'm gonna make it short and simple. You just breathe towards it, you know, and how do you do that? I'm gonna give you the poor man's introduction or poor man's instructions or step-by-step. -step. This right here is the line I'm working with. I'm calling F35. I just like it, cheap, economic, but functional. <laughs> So these are, uh, so what I'm doing, I'm uh, best way to do it is to have a control way, is uh, line breeding, inbreeding. It's a form of inbreeding, so pretty much inbreeding, any type of inbreeding. As long as you keep it within the genes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so here's how I do it. I have this pellet here. And I'm gonna do an egg comparison to kind of show you. I have another one up here just about the same age. She got a little bit of mud on her, it was raining last time, but anyways, they're the same age, they're sisters, and let me show you the eggs. You can clearly see the difference. So your chickens will lay a clutch of eggs of, a clutch of 12, 14 eggs around there, and then their nature kind of drives them to, to get broody and then, uh, and hatch their chicks. So, once they lay a clutch of eggs, uh, they'll, you know, they'll sit on their eggs, they'll make some clucking noises, and they'll hatch their chicks. And then they let the chicks go, and they start breeding again. They start laying eggs again. So, here's what I do. I select the hens that lay this size eggs. These are pullets. All six months, seven, no, they're about eight months now. They've been laying for some time already, for about two months. Two months, a month and a half. And this is their second clutch of eggs. And you can see this, the size of the eggs are way different. And they do lay at the same time. I prefer hands that lay 12, 14 eggs and then they stop. And once they, uh, some week passes by, if they're gonna sit on their eggs, they don't lay any more, any more eggs. If they're gonna hatch chicks, they don't lay any more eggs. But if you take them away from them, They'll, they'll, they'll stop for some time. They'll maybe lay one or two every four days or so. Or sometimes they'll stop laying completely. And then they'll start their next batch again, which is almost every day. Until they reach about 12 to 14 eggs and then the cycle begins. Starts over all over again. So meanwhile that's going on. I prefer hands to lay this size eggs. These are pullets. But the eggs are way better. You don't want to breed this type of hands because the chicks, you want big eggs. And a, a good time to start breeding your hands, it's uh, around a year and a half, a year and a year and a half, two years. For the in order for you to be able to see their full their full uh, potential, their potentials, their offspring's uh, full pot potential. Uh, the eggs on pullets, ten, the chicks that come out of pullets' eggs tend to be a lot smaller than chickens than uh, two, two than hens that are two years or a year and a half so that's why it's best to breed hens that are a year and a half to two years but anyway you can see it on the pullets you can see the big difference this is the pullets that I'll be using for uh, for my breeding program and I keep on leaning towards this pullets and you want to keep inbreeding you want to inbreed them line breed them back breeding or whatever uh, in order for you to have more more of a control on what you're doing if you breed different breeds you won't uh, You don't know what you're gonna get. This is more of a control way of doing it and then <clears throat> That's why I prefer doing it this way to establish this particular trait on my on my breed on my strain So there you have it folks look for good size eggs. This ones are too long. You don't want that They're slim. Let me bring them out. 
big difference. You want to go for this, not this. We're going to eat this, and I'll probably let that chicken loose. I'll give her another time, but most likely she won't be laying the good eggs. And even for in nature, they want this, this, this chicken. Chickens, nature will call them out because the, the offspring is not going to be very, the offspring is not going to be so great. Not going to have a, a good chance. This one's will. So yeah, pretty much select over that. Simple. It's not that hard. It's just a matter of selecting for that. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day.